Hello. Today I am going to explain the entire complete roadmap of data analytics and then how you can enter into this field as a data analyst. So considering data analytics as an industry, it is of paramount importance to understand that why did we even start the data analytics industry. In olden days, there, were, there was no computerization and then eventually things got computerized but mainly there were transactional applications which we typically call as OLTP, Online Transactional Applications. And then once there was a lot of data getting generated, people started analyzing that data and which is called as OLAP, which is Online Analytical Applications. Now in this field of data analytics, fundamentally the entire roadmap goes right from understanding what is that any decision maker would like to get out of that data so that one can take data driven decision. So it all starts with the requirements gathering. A good business analyst would actually gather the data meaning gather the questions from the management or the decision makers. Once you have exact idea about what is that we need to analyze, then comes the phase of creating various data models. So normally the data is into various data sources. Mostly what organizations do is they create a dimensional model or some kind of database model where the data from different sources is actually put into this particular data model. Here comes another role of a data modeler. So we have seen business analysts gathering requirements and data modeler creating this specially designed database for decision making purposes. Then comes a ETL phase. Now ETL is called as extract transform load meaning we saw that there are several applications named as OLTP transactional applications and we got to get the data extracted out of those applications and load it into this data warehouse. Now this specific job is done by ETL developers. Now they do it either by writing code, a good SQL code or they tune these ETL tools, something which Microsoft has created SSIS or Informatica is a tool or there is an open source tool called Talent. All such tools are used for ETL. Once you have your data warehouse ready, all populated with data, then comes the visible layer which is called as information delivery layer. This is the only phase where people see something happening and that's why the importance is also more. So many a times what people do is they get this data out in Excel and create fantastic graphs. So now we have fantastic tools like Microsoft Power BI or Tableau or Microsoft has a tool called as SSRS SQL Server Reporting Services or SQL Server Analytical Services. So there are many such tools. The prime importance is to actually get the data out of data warehouse and create nice looking dashboards or reports not just because they look nice but it actually answers the question which was gathered by the business analyst. So it's a complete cycle. First the business analyst would gather the questions, then the data modeler would create a design, the ETL team will populate the data into that particular data warehouse and the information delivery team would create fantastic dashboards or reports to answer those questions, entire cycle. So that's how cyclical, iterative, agile this development is. And this is of very much importance because if this is not done, then the decisions are not data driven and hence the organization might suffer. Now how could you enter this field? This field is a techno-functional field. So anybody who has inclination towards helping the management, getting the right answers out, can be a part to this. So everybody is welcome into this field. 
all you need to do is understand this life cycle in entirety pick up your role into it and work on it and be very happy that you are helping the organization in decision making process so welcome to this field and join the journey of data analytics